the, uh, the, the life of any uh, surgical uh, resident is actually pretty busy. Uh, pre typically in, uh, in urology, we, we start the day at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we round for an hour, and uh, then we either go to the OR or go to the clinic for the day. Uh, it depends on the year, but you're typically, you try to be in the OR as much as possible. And uh, so it works out to probably three or four days a week. And uh, the other two days, you're usually in clinic. One resident will be on call. So the resident on call will spend the day seeing off-service patients, going to emergency and seeing consults. That frees up the residents going to the operating room so that they can feel free to focus on the cases of the day while the uh, person on call takes care of the business. And I think that's a real asset. Then we'll see, uh, we'll round at the end of the day, we we'll make sure everything's okay. And usually uh, we we'll call it day around 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. The person on call usually would have to stay for a few hours to take care of uh, things that are going on and everyone else can go home and have somewhat of a life. When, when we're on call for urology, it's actually home call. And uh, what we do is uh, one in three, uh, pretty much it works out to about 11, 10 to 11 calls a month. The, um, Call itself is not too bad. Um, I think it's it's probably about 50% as busy as, as general surgery call, would you say? Yeah. Most of the time, on, being on call for urology is not extremely busy. Um, you don't, many times, once you've gone home, you don't have to come back till the next morning. And uh, some nights you're, you're up all night, uh, and other times you're not really bothered after 9 or 10 o'clock. Rarely they call you after midnight. Usually everything happens before midnight, except for transplants. Uh, sometimes it's uh, transplants, and they usually do carry over the entire morning, the early part of the morning. Uh, you know, we don't finish at three or four o'clock in the morning. I think that our residency is still busier than in internal medicine. Uh, you know, anesthesia, radiology. We still, you know, it's a surgical mentality. You 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 come here early and you take care of the patients. And does if you have more patients, you come earlier and you leave when the work is done. So you have clinics, we have OR, you have to um, study, uh, we have heavy readings, we read two chapters a week. I think studying for urology is a process that has to take place during the whole period of residency. People usually pick it up in about third year and, uh, and really start uh, learning um, the the book, Campbell's Urology. It's about four volumes and uh, 3,000 pages, supposed to finish in two years. For me, um, since I'm operating uh, almost every day, basically I study on the weekends. I'll put aside um, probably, uh, I don't know, probably between eight and uh, uh, 16 hours on the weekend studying at this point. I'm graduating this year. During the weekdays, I study, this, and this has been going on for several years. I just basically study one to two hours a night. And that's basically all you can handle. And on top of all this, we have our research, uh, research that we need to do, uh, either clinical research or basic science research. So I'm involved in both, actually, in both basic science and uh, uh, clinical research. So it's quite busy. Plus, you have to find time to get some sleep, so. In residency, I think a lot of people go into urology uh, have lifestyle as a major priority and they should realize that your lifestyle does take a hit going into a surgical specialty and yeah. that it's grueling hours at times and uh, I mean it's rewarding but it's you have to have some resilience and and realize what you're getting into five years is a long time yeah and uh, you know I think it's worth it in the end if, if that's really what you want to do yeah.